Hi, Miss Shanda here today. Um, I have an interesting story for you guys today. Do you like bathtubs? How about gorillas? Why don't we put them together and see? I have a story called How to Get a Gorilla Out of Your Bathtub. Have you ever had a gorilla in your bathtub? I haven't. I wonder what's going to happen. When you discover a gorilla in your bathtub, you first got to decide whether or not it's okay for him to stay there. Hmm. If you're sure your dad will say no, then you simply must find a way to get the gorilla out without hurting his feelings. Also, without leaving footprints, which would surprise your mother very much. Do you think that his footprints will be bigger or smaller than the girl's footprints? My, my, but you do have a problem, a big problem, and that is exactly why I wrote this book. You see, I have discovered a gorilla in my bathtub, bathtub on several occasions, so I have a pretty good idea on how to get one out. Hmm. No, no, no. Laying a trail of bananas to the door won't work. Gorillas like bathtubs better. How can they like bathtubs better than bananas? Oh, my goodness. They must really enjoy bathtubs. And please, don't try putting a rope around his tummy. Gorillas do not like ropes around their tummies. It reminds him of being tangled in a bowl of spaghetti. Have you ever been in a bowl of spaghetti? Huh. That must be a really big bowl of spaghetti. Come now. I can assure you that bringing another gorilla over to play in the backyard is a waste of time. If your gorilla wanted to play with another gorilla, he wouldn't have come to visit you in the first place. Hmm. He wanted to play with the girl. Besides, you might end up with two gorillas in the bathtub. Oh dear, dear. I can see you're going to need a lot of help. And she is ready to tell us how to get this gorilla out of the bathtub. <clears throat> Since you're so smart, you might think of turning on the water to frighten the gorilla. That makes sense, right? But don't. She said don't. What if the gorilla brought his swimming suit? Oh, a swimming suit. What a mess you're in for when he starts splashing around. He's having a lot of fun in this bathtub. Do you guys ever splash around? In the bathtub. Look, he's going to jump into the bathtub, into the water. And now you could order. Now you can order another bathtub and have it delivered to the front yard and hope that gorilla will switch. Do you think he will? But how will you explain that to your neighbors? Hmm. My neighbors will probably think I'm pretty silly to have a gorilla in a bathtub in my front yard. What about taking a two-week trip to your grandmother's house, you ask? Maybe the gorilla will get lonely and go home. Do you think that's what will happen? Good idea, but then he might just follow you and get into your grandmother's bathtub instead. Hmm. This gorilla is really liking to be around this girl, isn't she? She's his friend, huh? 
Oh, yes, I've tried phoning the gorilla and disguising my voice to sound like the gorilla's mother. But it's not easy to fool a gorilla about his mother's voice. Besides, he knew he, his mother was at the hair salon anyways. She was getting her hair done, and so he decided to go over to her house. My dear friend, please, please try not to be frustrated. If the gorilla is still in your bathtub, I should like to tell you that it, the very best way to get him out is to simply say, Gorilla, will you please get out of my bathtub now? Do you think that won't work? Say please and ask him nicely. Because gorillas are really friendly and quite easy to get along with. If you just know how to ask properly. Oh, he got out of the bathtub. Because she asked nicely. Well, the gorilla has the gorilla has gone home and everyone is happy. See how smart you are now? Please is a very special word, isn't it? Let's practice saying please so you will never ever forget it. Just to read along with me. Please hand me my, hand me the towel. That gorilla dripped all over the place. May I please may I play with the rubber ducky, please? Will you please not sit on the bananas? Is it okay if I stop practicing now, please? I've got it. Will you please say please all the time now? Want to have some more fun? Walk around your house saying please over and over again, just as fast as you can. Please, 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 please. So, just like in this book, we say please at our school too, right? And at home, we say please if we want to play with a toy, or please if we want to play with a friend, or if we want to share some of the toys with our friends. We say, can we please share those toys? We say please a lot, and thank you, and all that stuff, right? So just like the in the book, the gorilla likes to hear the word please and we like to hear the word please too when we are with our friends right all right well i hope you enjoyed this book and so now when you have a gorilla in your bathtub you remember what you guys say gorilla will you please get out of my bathtub now and he will all right i'll talk to you later bye